Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Italian crema ice cream. That's right, one minute I'm watching Killing Eve, and the next minute I'm trying to make gelato alla crema. In fact, I almost called this video Crema Ice Cream from Killing Eve. Except then I remembered, that's one of my good friends on YouTube's thing. But anyway, all that aside, this might be the best vanilla ice cream I've ever had. Which is kind of ironic since there's actually no vanilla in it. As you're about to see. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our base. Which will begin with some whole milk. All right, not skim milk, not low fat. And then to that we will add a little touch of white sugar followed by five large egg yolks. All right, four is not enough, and six is too many. So we'll go ahead and add five and give it a whisk. And then once we feel like that's been thoroughly and thoughtfully mixed together, we'll head to the stove, where we're gonna place this over medium heat and cook it stirring with a spatula pretty much constantly until it gets hot and steamy and thickens slightly. And when I say slightly, I mean it. All right, this is not gonna turn into some kind of thick custard. It's basically just going to go from something that sort of looks and feels like milk to something that looks and feels more like heavy cream. And as this gets close, you're definitely going to see some steam. And I can never be exactly sure how long this is going to take you, but I'll guess it's somewhere around 10 minutes. But do not go by time. Go by feel and appearance. And when it gets all hot and steamy and slightly thick like this, you're done. And sometimes this thickness is referred to as being able to coat the back of a spoon which I'd show you, but everything slips off this silicone spatula, so it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, what we'll do once we think that's cooked long enough is turn off the heat and immediately pour in the last ingredient, our heavy cream, which is going to stop this from cooking any further. And then once that's in, we'll remove this from the stove and immediately pass it through a fine mesh strainer. Because even if we did everything perfectly, which we did, there's going to be little particles of white that were kind of stuck to the yolk that are going to coagulate and harden up. And you can see those in the bottom of the strainer. And that really does not look like something you want in ice cream. So we'll go ahead and strain that. And that's it. All we need to do is let this cool down to room temp before we wrap it up and pop it in the fridge to chill completely. Oh, and it was right about here when I remembered I'd forgotten to throw in a pinch of salt, which might seem minor, but it's not. It's major. All right, that little pinch is going to make everything taste better. And believe it or not, a little sweeter. So I went ahead and stirred that in. And then, like I said, we will let this cool down to room temp and pop it in the fridge overnight. And I know you want to make it now, but you really shouldn't. I mean, as long as you chill it a few hours and it's cold, it will still work in the machine. But I think the taste and texture are both going to be better if you give it about 8 to 12 hours in the fridge. So you'll have to decide. I mean, you are, after all, the villanelle of making vanilla-less ice cream well. But personally, I do highly recommend it goes in the fridge overnight. So that's what I did. And the next day I pulled it out and carefully poured that into my ice cream maker. And as I mentioned in every ice cream video, if you don't have one of these type of machines, you can still make this. And I'll tell you how in the blog post, there are actually quite a few effective alternative methods. But having said that, these type of ice cream makers are relatively inexpensive and actually do a very good job. And what happens with these is you keep that bowl in the freezer and as it spins, that ice cream base freezes to the surface which is then scraped off and mixed back into the mixture. And as this runs, it will get colder and thicker and creamier. Oh, and if it's a really hot day, I always feel like putting a towel over this kind of insulates it and maybe helps it freeze a little better. Who knows, that might not have any effect, but I do it anyway. Oh, and another thing I like to do is grab a spoon and give this a little sample when it gets to what I call the milkshake stage. Oh yeah, that will definitely bring all the boys to the yard. And even though the texture is not going to be quite right yet, you will get a little sneak preview on just how amazing this flavor is. So at this point I was very happy. But anyway, I let that continue churning until it was as thick as it was gonna get, which for these machines is basically gonna look like a soft serve ice cream. And in case you're keeping score at home, that took me 20 minutes. So we will go ahead and clean off the dasher and then very quickly wrap this up and pop it in the freezer until fully frozen. And I generally just do it in this canister, but if you want, you could transfer it into another container. Although that can be risky, because you're probably going to eat like half of it as you transfer it in. So I'm going to go ahead and press some plastic on the top, and then use a plate for a lid since I lost the one that came with it. And then we'll transfer that into the freezer until it's properly frozen and firm, at which point we can go ahead and serve some up by priming the bottom of our dish or cup with half a scoop, 
and then topping that with the full money scoop. Oh yeah, that is a nice looking scoop if I do say so myself. Although if you're going to take pictures, make sure you freeze the glass. So it looks all nice and frosty and the ice cream won't melt as quick. But anyway, it's fine. This is not going to be around long. So I grabbed a spoon and dug in. And as far as the texture goes, this was absolutely perfect. Right, beautifully dense and creamy with absolutely no crystallization. And by the way, in Italy, this is a gelato, not an ice cream. Because they use a machine that introduces less air into the product so that it's even denser. But this was actually very close. And as far as the taste goes, I really do think you're going to be blown away. All right, for many of you, this will be the first true ice cream you've ever eaten. Since in the absence of flavorings like vanilla, what you're tasting here is just pure milk and sweet cream, with nothing else getting in the way. Which is why my favorite way to eat this stuff is as is. Totally plain, just me, a spoon, and my crema. Of course, having said that, I can't end the video without showing you a couple toppings. But nobody really needs to see the normal ones. So let me show you a couple abnormal ones. The first would be some freshly ground espresso coffee beans, which might seem strange, but if you like coffee or coffee ice cream, this really is an amazing combination. And while you think it might be gritty, the texture is actually surprisingly pleasant. And if I had to pick a way to eat this besides plain, this would be it. Just absolutely fantastic. Plus you get a little buzz. So that might be my favorite topping. Next up, I'm gonna show you Michelle's favorite which believe it or not is olive oil and sea salt. No, we're not kidding. We will drizzle on a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then sprinkle over a pinch of nice flaky sea salt. And I'm not exactly sure why this works so amazingly well, but it does. Right, the contrast between that sweet creamy ice cream and that fatty, slightly bitter oil with those little crunchy pops of salt really is one of the most unique frozen dessert experiences of all time. So if you're feeling a little adventurous, please give that a try. But regardless of whether you eat this crema plain or top it with something strange, it will still be, as Villanelle might say, to die for. Which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.